Sonia. Blessed Good Friday, everyone. Happy Good Friday. Here we are. Um, Friday, April 2nd, 2021. Good Friday. And also the first day of uh, the Novena to the Divine Mercy. So I am here with you again. I know it's been a while. I'm here with you again to uh, pray this beautiful chaplet uh, to the Divine Mercy, to Jesus, and His merciful love for us as we um, are in the midst of this beautiful celebration of the Triduum on Good Friday, the Passion of the Lord. So I thought I'd kind of start off by just reading from the Bible for you so we give people a moment to to get on before we um, actually start our prayers. So I'm going to read from Matthew 27, starting with verse 45. Now from the sixth hour, there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And some of the bystanders hearing it said, this man is calling Elijah. And one of them at once ran and took a sponge, filled it with vinegar and put it on a reed and gave it to him to drink. But the others said, wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. And Jesus cried again with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit. And behold, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom, and the earth shook and the rocks were split. The tombs were opened, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming out of the tombs after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. When the centurion and those who were with him, keeping watch over Jesus, saw the earthquake and what took place, they were filled with awe and said, Truly, this was the Son of God. There were also many women there, looking on from afar, who had followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering to him, among who were Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of James, and Joseph, and the mother of the sons of Zebedee. That is what we remember, reflect, honor, celebrate today. Because without the pain of Good Friday, there would be no Easter Sunday. And just in case somebody's on here who maybe has not ever prayed um, the Divine Mercy Chapel or the Novena to the Divine Mercy, St. Faustina um, was a religious sister who lived she passed away just before really World War II broke out. She lived in Poland and she was given uh, locutions from our Lord. And part of those locutions, he asked her to have an image created. Um, this image right here, the divine mercy image, which shows Jesus just as his heart was pierced on the cross for us and water and blood poured forth. That's the streams of light. God's mercy pouring forth for us. So throughout these nine days, we'll complete our novena on Divine Mercy Sunday, April 11th, with um, at three o'clock at St. Peter the Apostle. We'll have Eucharistic adoration and complete our, our novena chaplet. Um, I'll be on live every day until then at three o'clock, and we'll pray together each of the prayers, offering up each day, um, what Jesus asked St. Faustina to pray for throughout our world. Um, also, oh, where'd it go? There are some promises that Jesus made to St. Faustina. We should all be doing the corporal works of mercy, feeding the hungry, um, giving drink to the thirsty, clothing the naked, sheltering the homeless, comfort the imprisoned, visit the sick, bury the dead. Then there's spiritual works of mercy, admonishing sinners, instructing the uninformed, counsel the doubtful, 
comfort the sorrowful, be patient with those in error, forgive offenses, and pray for the living and the dead. So those are all things that we can do every day in our lives to share God's mercy. Um, during this novena time period, up, coming up to um, Divine Mercy Sunday, there are some things that Jesus would like us to do. He'd like us to celebrate the feast, which is this, this Sunday after Easter, is Divine Mercy Sunday. Sincerely repent of our sins, so try to get to confession. Place our complete trust in Jesus. At the bottom of the image, it says, Jesus, I trust in you. Um, so go to confession, uh, receive Holy Communion on Divine Mercy Sunday. I know it's hard right now, so yes, we can do a spiritual communion because some people still, because of health issues, can't get to Mass. Venerating the image of the Divine Mercy and being merciful to others through our actions and words and prayers on behalf of others. Um, I found out today that... Um, a priest in Oklahoma, my mother-in-law's priest, um, his sister passed away last night on Holy Thursday. So I am uh, offering my prayers today for her soul and also for um, Father Mason in his sorrow at losing his sister here in the busiest time of the year for a priest. So um, offering up all of your intentions and um, especially those who have no one to pray for them. And we'll get started on um, our prayer today. Hold on. <clears throat> so let's get started on our Divine Mercy Prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Today, Jesus asked St. Faustina to bring to him all mankind. Today bring to me all mankind, especially all sinners, and immerse them in the ocean of my mercy. Most merciful Jesus, whose very nature it is to have compassion on us and to forgive us, do not look upon our sins, but upon our trust which we place in your infinite goodness. Receive us all into the abode of your most compassionate heart, and never let us escape from it. We beg this of you by your love, which unites you to the Father and the Holy Spirit. Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon all mankind, and especially upon poor sinners, all enfolded in the most compassionate heart of Jesus. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, show us your mercy, that we may praise the omnipotence of your mercy forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O oh, fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O oh, blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus is a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. O oh, blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus is a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus is a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, he suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, and was buried. He descended into the hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, 
the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins, and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 
have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One,
Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Help me to let go. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you so much for praying with me today. Again, this is just the first day out of nine days that we'll be praying the uh, novena to the chaplet, the novena to the divine mercy. And on our final day, um, Sunday, April 11th at 3 p.m. at St. Peter the Apostle Catholic Church, we'll have Eucharistic adoration and uh, pray, complete our, our novena to the divine mercy. Have a blessed finish to your triduum, a blessed uh, holy Good Friday. <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow at 3 p.m. to pray our Novena to the Divine Mercy. God bless you.